Dear friends, in this video, I'm taking you to the historic Tanjong Tuan, also known as Cape Recado in Portuguese. If you are a bird watching enthusiast or an avid hiker, you should not miss this place. Although Tanjong Tuan belongs to the state of Malacca, it is only accessible through Portixon. Therefore, it is always listed as a place to visit in Portixon rather than Malacca. There are ample of free parking at the entrance of this park, but it can be quite full during public holidays. So you should plan to start as early as 7 in the morning. Early morning weather is so superb for hiking at this park. The park opens at 7 a.m. and closes at 6 p.m. At the entrance also, you will see the information center. Here they will charge the entrance fee of 1 ringgit for visitors above 11 years old. If you are a first time visitor, please do not hesitate to get enough information before you embark in your journey. Please note that a very basic toilet facility only available at the entrance and none inside the park. Several resting huts are available inside the park. Just like this. Tanjung Tuan's geographical location and environment is an ideal pit stop for migratory birds, especially raptors. Later in this video, you will see that I have captured a sight of one of those. Migratory birds in Tanjung Tuan. All around the location. There are more than 177 species of plants and trees found in this forest. Walking uphill on the main paved road leads to the lighthouse which was believed to be built initially in 1511 when Portuguese conquered Malacca. The lighthouse is not accessible to visitors but a walk around the compound will take you to the stunning view of Straits of Malacca. There are two forest trails near the lighthouse. One will lead you to a secluded beach. Following the route towards the beach will eventually lead you to a historic site known as the Mystic Well. Beside the well, it is said to be footprints of a great warrior can be found, and that is of Hang Tuas. Even the well was said to be dug by him. There is a story that Hang Tua is a mystical warrior, and he jumped from Gunung Dato in Negri Sembilan to Tanjong Tuan. So there are his footprints at both these places. Well guys, I'm not sure how true is the story, but this is the only mystery that I heard of Tanjong Tuan. Our focus was the other trail that leads to a different direction of Tanjong Tuan. This trail is about 360 meters to the edge. It is actually located before the lighthouse. This trail alone will give you enough cardio exercise for the day. Following this path will take you to Bukit Batu Pute. If you are fit enough, you may climb the limestone rock and you will be granted a superior view of the ocean. Bukit Batu Pute literally means white rock hill. Just look at the stunning view from the top of Bukit Batu Pute here. You may climb down the steep hill using the rope provided there. 
but you got to be really very careful. Even I have wounded my elbows during the climb down. If you are unable to climb the rock, do not worry. There is a platform near the Bukit Batu Puti where you can have a view of the water body. But of course, it will be different from the view from the top of the Bukit Batu Puti. However, you will agree with me that this picturesque view is worthy of walking through this trail. Most people will get exhausted after the rock climbing. If you still have stamina to walk further, you should walk another 20 meters more to the edge of this trail so that you will not miss the stunning view of the Blue Lagoon. Look at this beautiful view. You will have to use the same trail to go back to the starting point. For me, it's quite a clear and straightforward path and no way you can get lost. I hope you have enjoyed watching my video and you will plan to add this aerobic activity in your next outing. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye.